I fucked up. I am so tired. So it's like 6.50 in the morning. I didn't sleep last night and I have a doctor's appointment at 9.50. It's about an hour away, so we're gonna leave at like 8.30, 8.45 to get there on time. I am exhausted. But at this point, it's too late for me to go to bed because I can't just get one hour of sleep. So I have to stay awake. <laughs> and I know Christy's gonna be mad at me because she took the day off so she could take me to the doctor and then I'll just be like half dead and trying to sleep the whole day. I've talked about this in plenty of videos. I'm like naturally nocturnal. And like for the past two or three weeks, man, almost the whole month, I have been on a daytime schedule like a normal functioning fucking person. I just heard a meow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think there's a cat outside. I didn't see a cat. I think that was Smokey. <laughs> so anyways, I've reached the point of no return. I can't go to sleep. I have to go to the doctor. I am getting my finger taken out. Nope. <laughs> that's not true. I'm getting the, the thing that's in my finger. That's, that's going along with the stitches. I know what those are called. Pin. It's a pin. There's a pin in there. I mean, yeah, that should be really fucking great. So we'll see how it goes. Look at that. I'm wearing baseball pants because I got cold last night and all my clothes are in the room where Christy's sleeping. And so this is all I had in my office. So I'm wearing baseball pants. So while we are just killing time waiting for my appointment, I thought I would just kind of show you guys around my office a little bit because I've done some new stuff to it. I went and got these little, uh, whatever those are from Target and hung up all my hats. I'm really into like functional things. I just wanna have everything like easily accessible for when I need it and uh, in a way that I know I can keep organized. You have these like drawers over here but I have a hard time with drawers uh, because I tend to not ever like use them I'm more into surfaces, like I'll just stick something up there because I know I'm gonna use it pretty soon and then grab it. So like I only put things in drawers if I like plan to pretty much never use them again. So I have like a little camera equipment drawer here and none of my camera equipment ever went in there because I'm constantly using it. So I put up this shelf here where you can see I have all my stuff. So just stuff that I use really frequently and can like you know, grab and change my lens if I need to, or switch to this body for B-roll or whatever. Um, so I'm not constantly like digging through the drawer in and out of it every day. And that's really helped declutter because I was just leaving this stuff out all over the place before that. Another recent installment that I've made to my little home office are these um, little paper fucking wall hanger things. I don't know what those are, but they're really helpful because I have things that I need to shred and I'm constantly like putting important papers, just like stacking them on my printer here and it gets super cluttered and fucked up. So I took the silence of the lamp poster from there and moved it up there, which is also great because this new camera that I have always focuses on that face instead of mine when I'm making like vlogs. So I kind of killed two birds with one stone doing that. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I also hung this up right here for my backpack and I got this little um, thing that says action because I'm getting so much action in here and it like fucking lights up, it's so lit. That was some quality puns that I came up with just right on the spot. Here is something from Canada that I got when I was with Chase. It has a bunch of uh, pot leaves on it because um, Canada's like so dank. And then over here is a poster that I need to put up and it was only fucking $2. Uh, you can't see it, but it was only $2. It was originally $17. Oh, hey, what up? It's my reflection. So I'll be putting that right in here when I get the chance. Oh, my hand's purple. I have these really cool LED lights that change colors in my, um, in this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if this is, this isn't working. Never mind. Then over here I have these shelves. The top shelf has my supplements. The next shelf has some baskets with various things in them. I have prosthetics, athletic accessories, vape stuff that I don't really use anymore but might need someday because I'm a hoarder. And then here I have some files because I have a little file organizer down here. And then like other shit that I need to clean off. My recorder, that's a must. And then my lockbox where I keep secrets. Then now over here I have all my books and as you can see I have way too many fucking books. This isn't even like half of the books that I own so I'm ordering another shelf soon to put over here just like a little one 
designated bookshelf. And then on top of here, I have more posters that'll, you know, fill in this, this gap, this empty area up here. And then I have um, my sister's dog. He's just kind of hanging out tonight. And I forgot to show you that up here, I have my um, tech decks because me and my buddy just went on a like random tech deck kick recently. And I remember that I had like 80 fucking tech decks from whenever I was obsessed with them in middle school. This isn't even my complete collection. And then I also have these wrestling masks that I got in Mexico along with the hats that are not flat bill. So side note, if you're planning on doing this with your hats, it only works with flat bill hats. And then over here, I just have my, um, what is this? My fire staff. And then I'm planning on just getting a hook and like hanging it right here like this. Um, I have another hook right here. I'm going to be hanging up my nunchuck somewhere. So as far as the office goes, all I really need to do at this point is just organize my closet. I'm not even going to show you guys my closet. It's a fuck show. Oh man. I forgot that the microphone was turned around for all of that. Do you see this right now? I literally swept the whole house yesterday and the entire floor is just fucking covered in hair. Yeah, that's you. That's cause of you. And then there's also like random balls of fluff because um, Nani tears up all the toys. That's what it's like having three dogs. Oh my god. Look at this bitch. Ugh. I come in here. I farted on your fucking face. <laughs> she just farted on my face. I was being so sweet and cuddly. <laughs> And I was biting on her stomach, <laughs> on her side. No, you went, <laughs> so I just reciprocated. <laughs> yeah, I was right there on your lower back, my fucking face in your ass. Are you vlogging today? Yeah, so, okay. welcome to the vlog. I'm not going. Good morning, I'm not going either. Yes, you are! Sorry? Oh, sorry? So I am almost done getting ready. Just did some mandatory grooming. Cut myself shaving. What, babe? Sorry, Smokey. Literally, I just took him out and then he ran for the hole. <gasps> oh, he's leaving? Yeah, I don't... Can you? Yeah, I'll go get him. Naughty dog. Where'd you go? Uh, you got your titty out? Stop. Damn, Tyler. Back at it again with the fucking watermelon outfit. And the tan vans. I just got done brushing my teeth, which is so imperative, so incredibly important that I have to share that with my vlog. No, but what I want to talk about is my left hand. I really have to um, give that guy some props because he has stepped up when he needed to. He, he really took on the role. He's been doing a lot. No, I'm actually surprisingly far more ambidextrous than I was expecting to be. I was expecting to like be completely helpless, and I was for a few days. I feel like I'd be okay if I had to be left-handed for some reason, I feel like I could make it. So that's like a good thing. Probably the only good thing in my life right now is that. Oh. <laughs> and my lovely fiance. I mean, I was satisfied, so it's fine. We're gonna hit the road. What'd you say? We made it to the doctor. Just shook up because we almost died. Oh yeah, I did some pretty um, precision driving on the way here because we pretty much passed the entrance, but I corrected at the last moment. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to be here and get this out of my finger. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too bad. I don't think it's gonna hurt. It didn't hurt. They didn't take... Put my fucking seatbelt on. They didn't take the pin out today. I'm gonna have to come back in four weeks and get that removed But they did take out the stitches and resize my splint They're having me wear no bandages or anything on there. Just let it be open Which is kind of scary because I mean it's still like all gooey and I don't know I'm not totally comfortable with it just being out in the open But at least I have this guy on here to help me because I mean I've been hitting it on things I've closed it in the door. I busted it open and it was bleeding again like I'm, I'm not very careful, <laughs> but I'm glad we got that down. We're gonna go get some food, aren't we, baby girl? Yeah. Where's my clippers? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. This is the wrong... 
exit. What the fuck is my radio doing right now? Look, know. it just. Or have them. Okay. And then it turned itself off. Wow. Nice job. Damn. Uh, coma. That's uh, copyright music right there. Oh god. Okay. Just got out of IHOP. We're gonna go to the mall. As Christy needs makeup. I do. Because I am a makeupless bitch right now. Because you're a fucking tea lizard. I'm a fucking tea lizard. I tried to act like the um, Kermit the sipping the tea Kermit meme. Kermit the sipping the tea. Meme. Kermit the sipping the tea meme. If that, if you haven't heard of that one, <laughs> tea lizard hashtag. Um, and I was like, who am I? And I had coffee, and I bumped my arm on my chair, and I spilled the coffee all over the place. And she was like, I I don't know. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> so, pretty fun day overall. I'm kind of upset that they didn't take the pin out of my finger because now I have to wait like four weeks to go get it taken out I just want it to be over with and like move on from this experience I mean it was overall just like a really awesome experience and like just the energy of the people that I like got to meet and just go out and like experience this Coachella <laughs> and like I just feel like I'm ready to like start my new chapter like I've had this experience Coachella so <laughs> but yeah I'm over it and in case you had that is how all girls talk right now about like anything that happens in their life. I'm sorry. So, except for Christy. Oh. I wish I did, bitch. Glad you don't. I They made me quit filming in Sephora because um, they said you're not allowed to take pictures in the store. But you know, I mean, just think about all the people who go in there and take selfies and shit like that. I don't know. I wish she would have just been real with me and been like, you look sketchy as fuck, get out of here. She was nice though, so I'm not bitter. literally just sitting here in the car with the AC blasting like with the doors open just letting it like circulate and air out because it's burning up it's like 1 p.m. so the Sun is directly above us there's no clouds we're in a fucking hot all black Corolla and I'm in a long sleeve shirt guys I'm taking my shirt off Do it. Gonna hold back this feeling. It's sweaty it's stuck so to me uh -huh. all right Let's get this show on the road. All right, I had a pretty nice day with you guys hanging out. Coming with me to get my finger done and go to the mall. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because the rest of the day will probably just be me at home. But yeah, that's my video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.